This is Town Square Sunday. Christmas is a time of giving, and that's especially true for a local company, Carefree Homes. Each December, Stephanie Pickup, the marketing coordinator at Carefree Homes, joins us to talk about their New Year New Roof program, which provides a new roof every year for a local family in need. Stephanie joins us again this year. Welcome back. Hello. Thank you so much for having us. Appreciate it. And, uh... Stephanie, you, you bring gifts, so it's our pleasure. <laughs> I'm always welcome. I bring <laughs> I bring black tie cookies every year. <laughs> <laughs> so how many years for the New Year New Roof Program? So this is our sixth year of giving away a free GAF Timberline HTZ roofing system to a, uh, one local family. Um, I can't believe it, actually. I feel like we just started. But, um, yep, six years, and uh, the program continues to grow each year, so it's lots of fun. Now, a new roof is not a small gift. It's a significant gift. Some years ago, I had my roof replaced. I have a small house with an addition. It cost about five grand then, probably more now. Yeah, it depends on um, every roof is unique. So it depends on the size of the roof, the complexity of the roof, um, whether you have dormers and things like that. So um a more simple roof obviously would be less money than the uh, the more complex roofing systems, but um, but it's still thousands of dollars. It is. It's and it's, it's a significant gift on on the part of uh, um, Carefree Homes for sure. It is, and um, we're very thankful. Actually, um, we do partner with GAF Roofing every year, um, so thanks to them, they provide the materials and we do the installation. So. Um, they really are integral to the success of this campaign, and uh, we're so grateful for them and for their support every year. You're going to repeat some of this uh, throughout the interview here, but how does the contest work in general? So basically, it's pretty simple. So um, people in the community nominate a, a local homeowner, and uh, it has to be a residential home. It has to be a single family, not a multifamily. They do have to live in the home. So you nominate a local homeowner who's in need of a roof, um, and for some particular reason, they can't afford to replace it themselves. There's some, there's a hardship that's involved typically. So whether it's um, in the past, we've had um, families that have been impacted with cancer diagnosis or something like that. Um, so if they're overwhelmed with medical expenses or if your job has been impacted by COVID this year, um, whatever the difficulty may be, um, we want to know who these people are and hear their personal story. So you nominate the homeowner. We choose three to five finalists every year. Um, usually it's three, but last year we had so many amazing nominees, we actually had five. Um, and then once we have the finalists, the community, they're the ones who actually vote online at our website, um, and they choose the winner every year. How do people submit their nominations? So everything takes place right on our website. So you visit carefreehomescompany.com, and right on that homepage will take you right to the contest page as a short form. And people just felt the basic information, obviously the homeowner's name. And we do want to hear the story. The story is essential to us um, choosing the finalists and for the community to know who they want to vote for. So um, they tell us a little bit about the story, and uh, that's pretty much it. And then we then we look at all the L nominations, and we go from there. How many submissions do you receive on average? Oh, geez. Um, I want to say we probably get between a dozen to 20 every year. Um, that's about the average. I, I actually, I'm not prepared for that question today. I don't know how many I got last year, but it's usually about 12 to, uh, to 20. What's your coverage area? So we serve basically from Eastern Rhode Island. So Aquidneck Island, East Providence, um, actually a little bit of Warwick, uh, Pawtucket all the way to the mid Cape. So, um, Dennis, um, uh, actually our last year, our winner was from Falmouth. That was our first time ever having a Cape Cod family win a, uh, a free roof from us, so that was pretty exciting. Um, so we go all the way down to Mid-Cape, and then we go to, I would say, like, um, up Totten, up that area. Randolph, probably the, the cutoff as to where we okay. would go. Um, so they submit nominations. Mm -hmm. You look at them, pick finalists. Yep. And then you put them up on the website again, and people vote. Is that right? Yes. And then everyone is able to read the story because that's really, it really is a human interest thing. People um, people like to connect and understand what's happened in these people's lives. So um, that is very, very important. So that's why when you do nominate a homeowner, we ask that you share as much of their story as possible. 
Um, we do like to have people that typically have been the ones that were helping others and then are finding themselves now in a position of need. Um, so that is something that we kind of look for. I mean, it's not necessary, but we do look for people who are obviously good people um, that usually are the ones kind of giving the helping hand that actually need one. So I, uh, I did visit your website and I saw a video of last year's winner, the Manning family in yes. Thelmouth. And uh, tell us a little bit about this story. You recall? Um, yeah. So basically, um, Robert and Jim, they're a wonderful family. And um, she is confined to a wheelchair and losing basically all mobility in her body. She has a little bit of use left in her, in her right hand. Um, and their family, basically, they're the caretakers for them. But they are amazing people. Um, and prior to her becoming completely almost completely immobile. Um, she was very active in her community. She's a local, she was an artist. Um, and they are, they're actually really wonderful people. Jim's a scientist, uh, an ocean scientist, but um, the children, their children actually are the ones that care for him, care for her. But um, medical expenses are very, very overwhelming sometimes. And so things like new roofs or siding or whatever kind of come secondary to the health stuff. So, um, yeah, they actually had a really amazing campaign. They were the first ones that had a full-out campaign, like a political campaign. That's what it mm -hmm. almost felt like. It was awesome. So they had the grandkids asking people for um, for their votes on Instagram and Facebook. They were just they were awesome. They were they were really fun and really worked hard to earn the vote. And uh, we actually are uh, still connected with them. I text them still once in a while to say hello and wish them well, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But good people. So that's really how to win. Have a campaign. Yeah. Get others involved. Uh, and uh, it was uh, a winning uh, method for the Manning family in Falmouth last year. You're listening to Town Square Sunday. My guest is Stephanie Pickup, the marketing coordinator at Carefree Homes in Fairhaven. And we're talking about her company's New Year New Roof giveaway that starts on January 1st. Okay, so give us the timeline for this. Uh, folks uh, have to understand that, um, you know, you, you can't be submitting nominations after a certain point. There is a certain point for submitting nominations. Give us the timeline. Sure. So uh, the nomination period starts um, January 1st on the new year, and it goes through January 7th. And then, um, so you have about, what is that, about six days to, uh, to nominate a homeowner. And then we announce the finalists on January 8th. And then we give them a couple days to get their campaigns ready. And then the voting starts um, January 10th and ends on January 15th. And then we do our surprise reveal on uh, on January 18th-ish, before either on that day or before that day. Um, depending on how we coordinate with the winning family, we do sort of like love to do our, as you saw in that video, um, the publisher's clearinghouse style. We were kind of crash into, although this year with COVID, it's not going to be the same. have to be a little bit more creative. But um, we usually would, you know, either crash them at their house and with balloons and black tie cookies and all sorts of fanfare and surprise them that way. So um, it's really a lot of fun. And when did the roof uh, go up? That may, because of weather, may, may you have to wait a bit? Yeah, it depends um, if the, and typically, because we're, we're in, a, in the South Coast, we have pretty mild winters. So as long as there's not a polar vortex or something like that, if the temperatures are mild and there's no snow on the roof um, or snow in the forecast, then we're able to, to go ahead and move forward with it. I think we did the Mannings um, the end of February, maybe. Okay. I don't remember the exact time, but yeah. So has COVID, how has COVID impacted your business this year? I mean, it's impacted everybody. Yeah. Um, now you work with roofing companies and other companies, I imagine, other partners. Yeah, so it's... Um, How's it, it been? It's, well... For us, as far as home improvement, roofing, siding, windows, decks, porches, sunrooms, um, it's been gangbusters just crazy, actually, because everyone's stuck at home. So they're looking at their house and they're looking around and saying, oh, I need new siding. Or if I'm going to be stuck here, I want to add on a sunroom so I can put my home office in there if I have to work remotely. So um, it's been extremely busy. Um, there was a little hiccup. There was a lumber shortage for a while because um, there were like pressure treated wood, things like that for framing. Um, they had shut down due to COVID. And then, of course, you know, supply and demand. Demand's there, supply stops. So um, the price of lumber did, I wouldn't say it almost doubled, but it was pretty close. It was pretty significant how how much more expensive it did get. Um, 
for construction. But I mean, as far as the demand for having projects done, um, it's been very, very busy. And we're very grateful for that. Um, obviously, feeling awful for the businesses like our restaurant friends in the restaurant business or um, you know, massage therapists and all those other in, in other businesses that have been just um, impacted by the restrictions imposed um, upon them from the government. So, sure. uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it's been a difficult year for many, and uh, clearly, uh, if it's been uh, if you guys have been busy, that's great. Yeah, uh, we're thankful. We're very thankful. Now, we're the the great thing about that is that we're able to continue our community work that we so strongly. Um, enjoy doing and um, so we don't have any hiccups as far as our giving goes we have our roof giveaway and then of course throughout the year we work with United Way of Greater New Bedford who is by the way one of our community partners if I don't if actually could I mention a couple of our partners sure of course. Um, so we are partnering with United Way of Greater New Bedford and United Way of Greater Fall River um, they help us reach a lot of these families who are in need um, that might need some help. So they kind of help us spread the word. There are a couple of our community partners. And then we also partner with Black Tie Cookies. Um, they present, um, they're the ones that donate those cookies that you enjoy every time I come. Um, so they give cookie bouquets to all the finalists and the winner every year. So we're very grateful to Nicole at Black Tie Cookies for that. Was there some thought to not doing the contest this year because of COVID? Absolutely not. Nope. No way. It was going, <laughs> it was going whether we, whether, uh, yeah, there was no stopping us for that. Uh, roofing is pretty COVID proof because it's outside. So we don't have to come in contact with anybody. Um, measurements are taken from the outside. We don't have to come close to the homeowner. So um, no, there was never any doubt in my mind that we would do it. What may be hampered is uh, the announcement. The uh, yes. National Clearinghouse kind of announcement. I know. We're going to have to be a little more creative this yeah. year. And uh Figure out how we're going to do that. If you have any ideas, Jim, let me know, please. Bring it outside. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we're going to have to do. Um, so where can people um, learn more about this giveaway? If, you know, listening here, they maybe they came in halfway through. Where can they go to get all the information they need? Yeah, so just um, visit carefreehomescompany.com. And right there on the homepage, it'll have a slider that says New Year, New Roof Giveaway nominate a homeowner, just click on that. It'll bring you right to the page. Um, if you're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you can follow us on social media for the latest updates and things like that to kind of keep you in the loop just in case you forget. So follow us on social media for the latest updates, but everything takes place at carefreehomescompany.com. All right, and that's where you can make your nominations. That's where you can vote, all of it. It's uh, done right at the website, carefreehomes.com. Again, um, I don't think you can say this enough. The timeline for all of this starts on January 1st, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, starts January 1st. So nominations are open January 1st through January 7th. And then we announce the finalists on January 8th. And then um, the voting takes place January 10th through January 15th. And we announce the winner on January 18th. Where did this, uh, where did the idea come from? Where, was it at your office or was it others? Well, what happened was um, actually GAF had kind of brought it, the idea to our attention. They were other companies around the country that were doing s similar giveaways. And um, they saw that we were very much a community focused company and that it really aligned with our, not only with our business, but with our mission to help others. And so they approached us and said, hey, what do you think about doing, about partnering with us on a, on a roof giveaway? And you know, I... We were just like, of course, absolutely, that's perfect. You know, it's our, it's a product that we carry and that we are proud to install on others on our customers' homes, um, and it gives us the chance to help somebody. So, uh, GAF was the one; they're the ones who brought it to our attention. All right, carefreehomes.com. That's where you can go to learn more about the New Year New Roof Giveaway, and uh, it's uh, quite a contest. And really, you know, roofs uh, they do get put off especially in tough financial times. People just kind of say, well, not this year. But uh, if you need a new roof and you've got a story to tell to go along with it, this really is a contest you should pay attention to and get involved with. And just like the Mannings last year, uh, build a campaign, get people to vote for you, and uh, that's, uh, that's a great thing. 
Yes. I never great. thought about doing it that way. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> and it's, I think what makes it really fun is that the community becomes invested in sure. a lot of these finalists. And we actually do, um, when it comes down to the voting, um, people are allowed to share a message of support for whoever they vote for. And so um, we have a message board that kind of goes up on the web on this on the page. Mm -hmm. And so um, our finalists are able to read all these messages. And so even if they don't win, just the experience itself is just very heartwarming and overwhelming for a lot of them because they realize how many people love and support them. Sure. That maybe they have lost contact with over the years or even complete strangers who identify with their situation. So um, it's really beautiful, actually, the whole thing. My guest has been Stephanie Pickup, Marketing Coordinator for Carefree Homes in Fairhaven. We've been discussing her company's New Year New Roof Giveaway Contest. If you know someone who needs a new roof on their home and can't make that happen right now, well, you can submit their name uh, and uh, get involved with this contest, carefreehomes.com. Nominations, again, start January 1st through the 7th. Thank you, Stephanie. Good luck for the contest. Thank you for having us. Totally appreciate it. And have a nice holiday. That's it for Town Square Sunday this week. Thanks for listening. Thanks also to Mike Roberts behind the controls. I'm Jim Phillips. Join us next week for Town Square Sunday. Until then, have a great week and a wonderful Sunday.